You were willing to listen to all the nonsensical struggles that I go through as a woman, the differences of opinions between me and my husband, you know, and, and took patience to really customize everything. Charmaine, take it away. Okay, hi, I'm Charmaine here. I think to be honest, right, um, before I met you, uh, um, when my husband and I took an interest in um, looking up for houses, I was really skeptical. Uh, I was like, you know, all these uh, property consultants, especially someone who is a more top-notch one, uh, it's like they are into selling things, you know, and I don't really like pressure sales. I hate the hassles of like finding a place and then moving into a temporary place while waiting for your place to be built up. Um, so there was a lot of um, skepticism and um, probably a little bit of a closed-mindedness. Um, but after I met you, I realized that um, amazingly you were rather, you were not rather, you were very patient and uh, you were willing to listen to all the nonsensical struggles that I go through as a woman, the differences of opinions between me and my husband, you know, and, and took patience to really customize everything. Um, and a good thing I appreciate is you didn't pressurize me. I don't feel like it's a pressure sales or anything. Um, you kind of know uh, the direction or the type of uh, you know place that we are looking at, considering the you know the, the inconvenience that we wanted to avoid, uh, the space that we need, you know the budget that we have, yeah. So that was really a pleasantly surprise, yeah. It's about um, uh, the importance or the value in property, yeah. Because I'm a traditional person, where I thought, hey, I can just live in that flat forever until I grow old and uh, you know leave the world. That's fine. But it, it never occurred to me that maybe I need to think for my for my children and the next generation. And then the process of like clearing things out and moving place, uh, and with the support that you gave, it was like transformation whereby you're throwing out old stuff and then embracing new things and then deep inside right you feel like hey, a part of me has been cleaned up as well and yeah that feels pretty good yeah i realized that you're not into like selling the most expensive houses or what you really hear people's concerns um, people's needs and then um you know the budget that we have and you work around it um and i know there are times where you go the extra miles uh you know just to find the right items uh resources uh, and, and you know people for us uh, whereby you don't really need to and the one thing um, that I really like uh, working with you it's um, it's not like you know you pay a deposit you secure the house and then bye bye you know gone with the wind she goes but no you know she still follow up with phone calls making sure that we are nicely settled making sure that if you want to sell the old place everything is really done up done up nicely and tidily you know and it's like it's really an end-to-end -end, uh, full package. There is a continuation of the service. It's not like, you know, a one-time off sales kind of a kind of a person. So that is something that I really uh, value. Yeah. Thank you, Shami.